seeing here um, but I'll go ahead and I'll introduce everything what we have here is a pioneer setup it's entirely pioneer um, the mixer and the two players are uh, the, the two players are CDJ 400s what those are they're MIDI HID USB software controllers um, that also play CDs then you have the pioneers DJM 800 this is a mixer used worldwide as, and is considered an industry standard um, many of you are already very familiar with this mixer. It's uh, just about one of the best mixers ever made. Um, the CDJ400s are not considered an industry standard because they're, uh, they're software controllers. You know, that's their main function. Um, though they can play CDs, uh, most people consider the industry standard to be the, the uh, CDJ1000. Uh, those are not software compatible. Um, you would have to use virtual vinyl or Serato uh, interface, a timecode interface to allow uh, for them to be used with software. So this avoids all of that. You don't need to have time code, uh, a timecode interface box or timecode CDs to use them, although you can if you want. Um, but they're designed to work completely independent of any other type of uh, software or interface uh, to work with programs such as Virtual DJ. So, and that's the purpose of this video today. Um, now, the one other good thing about the, uh, the CDJ400 is that they have the ability to be used with a thumb drive. They plug right in here. They stick in just like such. And you can, uh, you can play your mix from, the, uh, from those right there as if they were a CD. Uh, another nice thing is you can plug in a hard drive directly to them. Um, both sides, each CDJ of course has its own plug. So that's a really nice feature. Um, but the purpose of this video is to discuss how it works with Virtual DJ. And the CDJ400 is an excellent uh, choice for using on a program like Virtual DJ. So we'll bring you around over here and uh, we'll get you familiarized with the laptop and uh, the program running on it. Okay, so before we get started on the software and the computer, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna briefly tell you how to connect this. Uh, the CDJ400s, will go into the mixer first and then the mixer out to an amplifier or a set of powered speakers. Um, now if you're a bedroom DJ you can do it differently than that. You can, If you just want to use a small set of speakers that are on your desk next to your computer that you use for sound you can do that or you can even use the uh, you know internal sound card on your laptop and hear the sound out of the computer speakers but we're mainly going to focus on a professional DJ system such as what you see here um, that uses a mixer and amplifier and uh, or powered speakers so with that said RCA cables are going to exit the CDJ 400 and enter into one of the ch four channels of the DJM 800 so 
what you have is a right and a left RCA that's going to be a red and a white and it's going to plug into the red and white on the back of say channel one okay this is CDJA and this is going to be channel one so we're going to plug it into the back here you flip it from line over to CD or if you want to go digital you can use a digital cable they're usually orange and it's a single cable and that can be plugged in as well and you have to flip the switch on the back to make sure that you're using digital input okay and then you'll do the same thing over here you'll use the RCA output into channel 2 for example on the mixer and those will be the red and white into the red and white here make sure you flip it over to CD or digital if you go digital okay the other important thing is see that blue cable right there that is my RCA or I'm sorry that is my USB so that will go into the laptop over here it's the same thing I've got a blue cable now they don't come uh, in blue I just use those because I had them and they were longer because I use, use a uh, USB uh, hub. I have a seven port hub because I've got other MIDI controllers and things plugged into the system here. Um, so I needed a hub. But typically you're gonna plug it directly into the laptop into one of your ports. So you need to make sure that you have at least two ports, USB open ports, uh, to plug in your CDJs or you're not gonna, you're not gonna have a ball game. So on to the laptop. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize the program. We're gonna start it up, click on the icon there, virtual DJ. It takes a second to initialize here. Okay, let's get it dialed in here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the config tab. That's up in the right top corner. It brings up a menu, a settings menu. It's got a bunch of tabs in it. It should usually by default go straight to the sound setup. And you got inputs, outputs, and sound card. Okay, so uh, we're not using time codes. You know, it's HID supported, so Pioneers don't need any time code. Outputs, we're using a Pioneer DJM 800 mixer, so we're gonna stick with the external mixer and sound card. Uh, each Pioneer CDJ 400 has a built-in sound card, so we're gonna pick two sound cards. Now, if you want the ASIO drivers, you can go to the ASIO for all uh, freeware. It doesn't cost anything, you can use those, that's an alternative. Uh, we're gonna pick the two cards by default, and then there's a drop down for each of the Pioneer sound cards. So, pick the one that says speakers, Pioneer CDJ 400. Uh, and there's a number in front of it, it should be different than the one below it. This says two, click that one, and then click the other drop down for the other CDJ 400, and click speakers, Pioneer CDJ 400 with a three on it. Okay, the numbers don't matter as long as they're different from each other. It could be 18 and 19, it could be 1 and 2, it could be 3 and 4, and in this case it's 2 and 3, so we're good to go. Click Apply. Okay, now, your browser, go to the Browser tab. Since you're first initializing this, uh, you should always, you know, click, uh, you know, the database fix. You know, you got Check Clean Fix. You know, what it does is it helps initialize your drive and optimizes it for use in Virtual DJ. Uh, the C drive is typically going to be your internal hard drive, and I would recommend keeping that separate from your music files. You know, don't keep your music files on an external drive or you're just asking for problems. You, know, you see all these programs that I have here? This is my business computer, plus I use it for, you know, music production and uh, other things. So. Try to keep your gigging computer as clean as possible. I have another laptop, so this one here, I don't use for gigging. All right, by the same token, you want to keep your hard drive free and clear. Your internal hard drive is where you're going to be running Virtual DJ from. Here, you can see I've got four hard drives, an internal and three externals. G is karaoke, H is music video, and I is regular music. Okay, so you're going to want to click Fix to optimize. The database file has been optimized and fixed and then do that with all of your other drives. Same thing, okay? Click OK when you're done. All right, you're good to go. So now, let's see how it works. Uh, we'll think of a fairly recent song, David Guetta. All right, uh, a few months ago he came out with one called When Love Takes Over. So uh, here we go. We got the June 09 promo only, clean radio edit, or pop radio edit. Use the uh, dial on, the, on each CDJ to pick your player and we can mirror the song that's a good thing about uh, these programs is you can use the same song on each deck and there you go Hit play now you're ready to start your gig okay that's all it is thanks this is DJ Root peace keep spinning